Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of September 18th to the 24th, 2023. First card out for you is Chaos and Conflict with the number 33. There's a lot of creative changes going on around you. I'm actually seeing the people in your life that surround you maybe going through a lot of changes in their life. And you know, chaos isn't necessarily a bad word. It just means that everything is changing around us. We see here, it looks like a zebra is shedding their skin and turning into a giraffe. So a lot of changes are taking place here. And the people around you are turning into different people and the environments that you find yourself in are changing as well so there's just a lot of change going on at this time and it's very creative it's very unique and you know what sometimes the universe just likes to spice things up for us and you'll be seeing a lot of that this week so second card out is life review with archangel jeremiah okay i definitely feel like there are some big changes and shifts happening in your life which is causing you to really take a look at your life and how you define success and what you're trying to manifest here what are you trying to do here on this planet when we have huge changes taking place sometimes it's nice to pull back and ask ourselves am i making these changes and experiencing this chaos for the sake of chaos and change or is there a deeper reason for this like is this leading to ultimate growth fulfillment and happiness take inventory of of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced beautiful and your last oracle card is the moon dragon beautiful mama moon rules over our emotions our relationships our routine so i really do feel like it is your routine that is changing this week and there is a lot like I, I hate to sound like a broken record but like i keep coming back to like there's just big changes taking place this week and um, you're being asked to really allow yourself to dive into emotional spaces. I am seeing a sense of grieving, but it's a positive grieving. So for example, when you have a big exciting change going on in your life, say you're leaving your old job to enter a new one, or you're moving out of your old ratty house or apartment to a nicer place, there is a sense of mourning with that because you have to mourn the loss of what once was. Even though this change is welcome, even though you're excited for this, it is a bit of a bummer because what you're familiar with, what you have had so many great memories with, you may have to start letting go of this week. So I do feel like there could be some expansive changes taking place for you this week. Some of you, like I said, maybe um, getting a new car and selling your old one that you have so many memories in or same thing with house or job or even the friends in your life moving on moving up uh, it feels like there is just a lot coming up emotionally this week because of the changes that happen i feel like you're really feeling the passing of time right now and you're looking at the people in your life who are closest to you and the years that you have spent with them and wow have things changed throughout the years and um, oh, the song Landslide just came into my head by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> to the landslide brought down. Um, listen to the lyrics in that song. That's one of my favorite songs. I think that's everyone's favorite song. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. Let's get some tarot, though, to, like, further clarify these messages. We're going to do nine cards, three rows of three. I haven't seen any of them, so let's see. First card out is the chariot reversed. Okay, yeah. So I feel like for the past few weeks or months, you have been really trying to make this change uh, out of your comfort zone. So you have been actively wanting whatever this change is, wanting a new car, job, house, friends, move, whatever. And, you know, it's been really stagnant. This might have been something that you were working on for months or years even okay wanting this to happen and i feel like it's finally like the energy is shifting now it's like it's finally here but um with all these changes you know it can feel a little bit like unsettling because with change you know your your comfort zone is a little bit kicked up and there just may be a little bit extra stress or emotions um that are, are being kicked up for you this week because of the beautiful changes that are taking place second card out is the four of cups you know i never read this card in this way but i'm just getting stability because the number four represents stability and you know on the traditional rider weight uh tarot 
we see someone underneath a tree and there's three cups in front of them that they already have and then the universe is offering them a fourth cup, a new emotional beginning, a new emotional opportunity. But they look kind of like they're in limbo, they're waiting, um, a little bit bored, dissatisfied. And, you know, I, I feel like maybe you're waiting to hear back about news on something in the beginning half of this week. And it's like, just this waiting is killing you. Um, but yeah, I think the good part about the Four of Cups here is like you have the Three of Cups, which is happiness, excitement, that three energy, like we saw here with three, three, the creative expansion, the growth. The universe is offering you a fourth cup, which is much more stable, much more long term, better for you long term. So I see this week some sort of opportunity from the universe that will be more stable for you. But it's like you got to get excited about it. You have to let it into your life when it comes up, you know? Third card out is the Six of Swords, upright, headed towards calmer waters, towards peace. There's a transition that is being made here, okay? A huge transition. Uh, some of you may be actually traveling right now this week or planning trip. But like, like I said, like I just keep seeing movement. A lot of you will also be moving or planning a move or planning a, a big transition from like an old job to a new job or location to location. Like I, I'm seeing a big jump like that, which is why your energy feels a little bit unsettled. Like, like everything, all the dirt's being kicked up in your life because of uh, th this expansive change. Six of Swords, this change is bringing you towards calmness, towards clarity, towards more solid waters or not water, solid ground. Right now you're in like water, <laughs> you know, things are always all over the place for you, but where you're going, this expansive change is taking you to more solid ground where you can explore more, you can see more of the world of who you are. And if it's a career transition, you know, there's a lot more growth in the direction that you're headed. So uh, it's a good change. It's good chaos, I would say. Um, some of you guys might also be feeling a little bit mm, dissatisfied in relationships, especially long-term relationships. It may feel like um, there's some questioning here of like, is this really my soulmate? Is this really long-term? Um, because you know what? It may be very, it's very stable, very trusting, very solid. And I feel like sometimes in relationships like that, it can lack that excitement, that passionate element, which you may be craving right now. And because you're craving that, you know, it may bring up some chaos, some conflict. Um, and if that's the case for you, if that's your story, I actually see things getting a lot better this week with your partner, with whomever you're having these doubts with. Um, I would recommend talking about it with them and actually like resolving this issue with each other. Second row for you, fourth card is the lovers. <laughs> Speaking of saying yes to relationships and working through relationship issues, the lovers is here to say, yeah, <laughs> love is good this week. You know, it feels like any issue, especially with the moon dragon, with, with the full moon there, any issue that exists in your relationships, it will certainly be coming up this week to be dealt with though, to be overcome, to be worked through. I'm also seeing a big yes answer um, when it comes to something like being approved for a loan or a mortgage or a job application or something like that. Like, yes, they are saying yes to you. You are being approved. So that's really exciting. Center of your spread is the six of wands in reverse. There's an element here of delay, delay. Like, yes, you're approved, but you know, you have to wait for this to happen or yes, you're approved. Um, but you know, the homeowners need to move out and they're not gonna move out for another like five months or like, yes, you're approved for this job, but there's several months of training where you will not be paid a lot. Like it's a, it's a situation like that. There's a stipulation with this yes. That's like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I could wait that long. You know, it's, and that may cause some chaos uh, internally, some panicking, like, what am I gonna do? Cause I want this. I know that it's good for me. I know that I should say yes to this, but what am I going to do during that transitionary time? You know, th there's a little bit of panic with that. Sixth card out is the 10 of wands reverse. It feels like a lot of burden, a lot of responsibility. I don't know if I can carry all this. I don't know if I can, um, be responsible for paying my bills, for finding shelter, for, you know, I don't know if I could survive this transitionary period. 
uh, in the way that I need to. It's it's get, it's giving something like that. There feels to be a lot on your shoulders at this time. A lot of stress. You know, this is showing stress. Good stress. I mean, is any stress good? It. When we go out of our comfort zone to make our lives better, it can trigger stress because you're in a new environment with new situations that you've never been in before. You know, that could be a little anxiety inducing. So that's what I mean by good stress. Like it's, it's because of good reasons and you're growing, you're bettering yourself, but it's stress nonetheless. Third row out for you, seventh card, we have the four of wands in reverse. Lots of wands cards coming out in reverse for you. Um, I am seeing here for some of you, this is gonna be really specific. It feels like mm, there is a resistance towards marriage or long-term commitment. I'm seeing here like, I love this, I love you. I love this situation in my life, but I don't know if I should commit to it long-term. I'm seeing some doubts, some cold feet type of energy here. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't commit. I'm just picking up on what either you or someone else is feeling. And it's like, mm, this could also like, for example, if you get a new job, it may be like a transitionary period where you're not 100% hired. They wanna see if you'll do the job correct. So it's like, you don't have that commitment, that security of like, yes, this is my job just yet. Um, it, it feels like that, you know, or like in the dating game, like I don't know if this is gonna be the person for me long-term. I, it's a little iffy here. Um, some of you guys may be questioning your commitment due to some conflicts going on here. And this could happen in relationships, job, any area that you're focusing on right now. Um, yeah, it just really feels like there are some issues, some worries, some concerns that is kind of causing some commitment issues within you or this other person. But I, here's the thing. I feel like you're going to say yes to it nonetheless. I feel like you are... This week is all about working through these issues. Eighth card out is the fool in reverse. Yeah, I keep coming back to this like, man, like just wanting to go, just wanting that success. But again, there's like, you have to wait for some reason. Like you can't just jump off and go and like everything be good. Like there's a waiting period. Or some of you may be wanting to wait. Like I have to do this first. I have to do that first. Like I can't just jump into this commitment, so. We also, final card out, have the two of wands. Okay, we're ending on a high note, and I love that this is wands because a lot of your reading involved wands in reverse, which was showing stress and, you know, not knowing if you're going to be successful here. But the two of wands does show success, and it does show planting seeds for the future, and it's like a new path is beginning for you, and um, it feels very clear. So I feel like any stress, chaos, conflicts, challenges that you are dealing with, this week will be resolved, which is really wonderful. And we have to look towards the three major arcana cards that came out for you this week, the chariot reversed, the lovers, and the fool reversed. Chariot and fool in reverse is showing like, you know that there is a positive, positive path for you just outside of your comfort zone. And it's like, I just gotta do it. I just have to. Um, and there may be some delays, there may be some frustrations, but you know what? You just have to get through this. That's what it feels like. You just have to do it. I don't care if it feels too burdensome. I don't care if it feels a little bit too stressful, like make the room for this to happen. That's like the mindset I'm getting here. Like I can't say no to this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity that I may never get again. Like I have to put up with the frustrating aspects of this situation and work through that challenge because you know what once i work through that challenge this could be a really awesome lifelong commitment that gives and gives and gives and gives to my life so that's what i'm seeing here getting through the challenge that will lead you to something beautiful long term something that will constantly give to you and provide so many secure opportunities and love and prosperity so that is your reading scorpio thank you for watching watch for your sun moon rising and venus to get the fullest overview of this week ahead subscribe to the channel if you have not already do it now <laughs> like this video if you have not already and comment your thoughts and feelings down below how did this resonate with you if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also have my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.